Hello friends, welcome to this short video tutorial about running Visual Studio Code Server on Linux VM and accessing it through remote browsers. This is a very useful utility released by Microsoft Visual Code and it's in beta version and especially is very useful for those people who prefer to do development on mobile devices. As I said, the Visual Studio Code Server currently offers this as a service and this is a beta release as of today. So, and you must sign up and get approved before you can use it. So depending on when you're watching this video, this utility may have already been approved, but for now you have to go and sign up. Please keep in mind, you must have an active GitHub user ID and account to sign up for this. Now that the Visual Studio Code Server is entirely different than VS Code Remote Explorer extension. Now VS Code currently offers a service, uh, it's like an SSH connection which you can use to directly connect to your Linux or Windows VM using this Win Remote Explorer inside VS Code. This type of connection is very similar to connecting using a Windows or Linux terminal through SSH. In this setup, you must have a local VS Code running on your local machine. But what I'm talking about, would it be more cool if you can access VS Code through a browser. So your VS Code installation will be done on Linux VM and you will access it through a browser. So let's get it started. All right, so just Google Visual Studio Code Server and first link, it will take you there. Here, you will find entire documentation how to set up your VS Code Server and it's very, very, very easy. It's just only basically one or two commands, that's it. And in case if you get into any issue or any troubleshoot, any help, please go through this, um, this link and it will definitely help you out. All right, so in this case, as you can see, I'm going to you know um, set up this VS Code Server on my Linux VM. So first part, as this document says, you have to install this utility. So wget, I'm just going to copy this command and let's head out to our Linux terminal window. And here, once you are connected, just wget this command. You can use this command, run this command through a sudo, but I do not think that's required. So control L sudo, but I, in my case, I don't, I seriously, I don't think it's required. So I'm just going to double get that. And as you can see, it installs it. It's very, very quick. Next thing you want to do here, and um, you just run the command say code hyphen server. So now you have this code server utility service running on your Linux VM. All it takes, you just uh, say code server and it will initiate a VS code environment on your local machine. Now, as I mentioned earlier that you must have an active GitHub account and you must have been approved. Um, so once you are approved, just go to github.com uh, login service and copy paste this particular uh, the authentication and uh, it will say it will ask you to authorize that. Let me authorize this. And once you authorize, if you go back to your terminal window, you will see an active um, you know, you want to first you have to give it a name to this machine. So I'm just going to call it say Amit LAX. And then once you do that, you will, you'll get an active URL. This is a VS code.dev URL. And using this URL, you can access your Linux VM, uh, VS code uh, through any browser. All right. So this is, again, this is different than using SSH or like, you know, using your VNC code to access your server. This is you're directly accessing your VS code server through a browser and it could be any browser window. It could be your remote iPad or any remote devices. All right, as simple as that. As you can see, let me browse through a couple of the directories here and make sure that I just want to test out the speed. In my opinion, I have tested a couple of the projects and the speed and it's, it's it works pretty good. So I hope this uh, short tutorial helps you out. In case if you have any questions, any trouble, please go through the documentation or feel free to comment on this YouTube video and I'll be definitely help you out if you have, in case if you have any, if you have any trouble. All right, thanks for watching and um, please um, stay tuned. Thank you.